Hello everybody, welcome back to LT Gaming. My name is Tom and today is a very special day. It's the start of our Manor Lords coverage here on the channel. We've been given some early access onto the game and we are super excited to bring you some content. We're going to make two videos for you. Uh, so one is going to be a shorter list style content, things to be excited about in the game. And Luke is going to be making that one. I am going to be making a longer playthrough style so you guys can really get a robust, deep understanding of what the game is offering in its release version, what to get excited about and what you can expect. So let's kick things off by hitting new game here. We're going to create our character and so I will begin by creating LT Tom just for simplicity's sake and I will pick the portrait which most closely resembles me which is, of course, this guy. From there, I'll then uh, have a look at my flag and we're going to pick the distinctive colors, the LT Gaming. And this is actually a lowercase t. A little known fact, but that is true. This one actually looks more like a t, so I'll go with that. And from here, we'll just jump straight in to the scenario selection. So we have three scenarios. I've played a game on each of the other two maps, so Rise Up to Prosperity and Restoring the Peace. And today I'm going to play On the Edge, which seems to be the most difficult one. You're going to be attacked by raiders, harassed. So it should hopefully create a little bit more excitement in this, uh, this game, uh, this uh, recording rather. I'm going to go with relaxing difficulty. Uh, mostly because I'm doing a playthrough and I want to showcase things to you guys. I don't just want to be overrun or kind of wrecked uh, straight away. And I'll up the Raider three years a little bit as well. So we have some time to find our feet in the game and really showcase uh, the features to you. And let's hit begin and dive in. If I look over here during the recording, it's because I've got my second screen up with, uh, with my recording running. So it's always very distracting the constantly catch yourself in the reflection all right here we are guys we are in the town of Eichenhau my German is not the best but that is my approximate pr pronunciation and first things first it's always fun to take a look at your surroundings I have a rich stone deposit which is great iron wild animals clay and wild and berries I would have liked a uh, food deposit that was rich, but you can't have everything. And I think I just need to crack on and get started. So thank you very much. Brilliant. All right. First things first, I'm going to build some housing for my homeless people. And this is the much touted and famed housing or kind of, I'd say, uh, organic building system, which people are very fond of. So I'm going to build maybe three houses to kick things off. And what we want to do is make sure they have sufficient um, room for the extensions or expansions that can be built onto the burge plots, as these are pretty valuable when you're building your town. At the same time, I'm going to begin the very preliminary roots of my economy by picking up a logging camp. Um, is it a logging camp? Yes, yeah, good logging camp. And where do I want to build this? Let's go to this side of the map. Build that there. And then finally, we want something to kick off some food production, as I'm going to have some hungry people relatively soon. And in that sense, I will go with the berry hut or forager's hut here. So I've given my orders out. We've got some preliminary uh, things. We've got old Herman the Ox. Herman the German. Herman the German Ox here. And we are building our first burge plot or house. And let's just watch this get built. Now, the thing with this game is it is incredibly immersive. Everything about the kind of building style, the people chattering is really cool and really puts you into the game. Now I've got these kind of red flags up here. These are things I really need to address as soon as possible. And on that note, I will actually address that by building a granary straight away and also a storehouse. So I have 
my goods stored somewhere and it's not going to lead to any problems with uh with my my storage or a kind of degradation of my goods uh, i also want to build a road we will build it to the hitching post and then on to the logging camp it's always nice to have everything connected by road in this game and building roads is an absolute delight like all the building in this uh in mana lords it is very intuitive and very easy to get done let's speed this up a touch and get the next burge plots going we're gradually reducing the homelessness in my in my uh town of eichenhau and here we go now i've got obviously generous starting resources so i should be pretty okay with things but i ideally want to get the logging camp up next actually so let's put that up in priority and just crank up the speed a touch and they should set about doing this brilliant let's watch our men work in fast speed here and that is beautiful from here i will actually crack two people onto logging straight away because I'm going to want, actually, I will also put one in the storehouse so he will actually not leave these supplies out in the cold. He will come and collect them. And I need to get rid of these homeless tents as I have plans for this uh, little, little spot here. I actually thought this was the hitching post, so I built the road to the wrong place. Uh, let's just go to there. Build. But that means I need more burrage blocks now. Now, we still have two homeless families of our total of five. So that is going to really drive down on my approval if I don't sort it out. So, I only have three timber though, so I need one more. Right, go nuts. We'll just hold off on doing anything too rash yet. Until I get that fourth piece of timber in. Yes, I understand you want the market stall. This is actually utterly essential. You know what? I can just revamp my plans. So your market stall is the heart of your town. This is where everything gets distributed out to your your houses. If I had to make an example from another city builder, it's your bazaar your market in uh, Faro that you use to distribute the food that you get in, the materials like pottery, stuff like that. This is the role that the market plays here. So let me just switch to blah, blah, blah. Marketplace here in the residential and we will build a market. Let's, let's hey, build a nice big one. And we see this organic system in play here and this gives us 17 market locations. So that is perfect. All right, we do have the wood we need now as well to alleviate our homeless issue. So let me rack two more right next there. And so this will solve our homeless problem for the, the moment. We will have everything we need for our current families. Now the, the key in this game is to constantly be kind of plodding ahead on how to expand your economy. And we can see we already have a firewood stall and this is related to the fuel that i have um, fuel is on the harder difficulty settings often a bit of a pain in the arse uh, let's say now a well is what these families will need almost immediately so we will do water well right there and we will crank up the speed a touch just to make sure we're in the right way and we've got our foragers hut here as well so i will start the process of food distribution now i need to keep one family available otherwise i have no one to build these burrage plots 
the idle families are always your kind of construction and worker crew in that regard. Once these are actually transported over to the storehouse, I'll reduce this worker here and I'll switch him over to the food side of things. Um, because food is the best way to get your approval rate going up and variety of food. Um, so we're dropped down to 49 right now because my burrage plots haven't been built yet. Let's just crank up the speed a bit. Make sure that that gets done. Look at this beautiful town, or house rather, being erected. Perfect. It's one done. And we've still got two guys over here. I'm at 10 timber, so I'll probably reduce him down by one and just immediately put the guy in the granary to start getting food out in the market. Beautiful. And another burge plot is built. So we've got the semblance of a town right now. Let's form the militia. There's a development point as well. So you get these perk systems. You can pick policies, perk, production. Um, a lot of these have not been fleshed out yet. They are locked in the early access. I assume are going to be built out slowly as things, things go. But what we want to do essentially is pick something which is going to boost my economy early. I'm trying to think which uh, avenue I'll go with here. And I'll probably go with the um, the heavy plow. Should I get farming going early? Before I take a decision, let's use the overlay system. So this is how you get to understand what's around you. So you saw earlier I used the underground water before I built the well. Otherwise, it won't be effective. We have these fertility maps, which tell us about the different crops and what's going to grow and what's going to be more basically efficient. Um, barley is going to be important because you're going to want to get a tavern. I tend to use other food sources other than wheat in the beginning, at least. So I'm going to focus on the barley side of things um, and have to look to make a farm up here somewhere, it looks like. And then I can plan also around the grain side is pretty good on this as well. All right, so let me just go back to no overlay and back to the development. And in the beginning, I think to help me uh, hmm. to help me out, I will go with the berry capacity. So I have no problems on this front. This will be probably my prime food source till I can get some better, better level of food going. Okay, so we've got plenty of bread right now. Berry should soon come into the system as well. And we've got plenty of firewood for the future currently. So the first thing I'm going to start doing is looking at what I need to achieve. Um, and the next thing will be clothing. These are the requirements I need to level my burge plots up. And I need two for the next level of village. So let's hit construction easiest way to get uh, pelts i guess is going to be to use a hunting camp and i'm just going to pop one here and hopefully my homelessness will disappear very soon and we'll be able to ensure a steady supply of not only meat, but also skins or hides, which I can then turn into clothing, which is the plan. All right, we've got a guy in the storehouse. He's fine. This means we've got fuel. Food is also being supplied now. So we just need the clothing and then we'll get on to building our church. Boom, boom, boom. We have one guy free. Are we building anything right now? Doesn't look like it. So let's let's crack him on to hunting. I'll put a limit on the hunting guys of 
10, so that means they hunt 10 and stop. Or, or let this get down to 10, I can't recall which way it is. There you go, when the herd drops to 10. So we've got 21 over here right now, that's great. So that's going to give me meat and then also supplies in the form of heights. Which will then allow me in turn to build my next building. Which will be industry and it is not a smithy, not a clay furnace, a tannery. Right, trying to build it on the market, that's kind of dumb. So I will build it up here. Now I have no one to build it right now. I need to make a kind of an informed decision about what I'm going to do or who I'm going to reduce. Now, I don't have a huge wolf demand right now, so I'll in fact take him off. And then we will find employment for him at the tannery and hopefully get this uh, whole thing underway. Go over to the tannery itself. In fact, a really cool thing I love to do is use the visit mode. This is your first person dungeon keeper style possession spell, if you like, uh, that allows you to walk around your town and actually get some first hand interaction with it. We can see my guys here just back from a fresh hunt. Beautiful stuff. I mean, I look nothing like my pitcher. I'm clearly catfishing everyone with the silver fox thing. So, it would appear there's a generic... Um, oh, selling in the market. Beautiful. There's a bit of a, yeah, a generic template for your lord when you're walking around. But it's still a pretty cool feature. Um, and give you a nice sense of immersion and fun when you're playing. But let's get back to our, our building plans. And the first thing we're doing, or it's on the agenda here, is to build the tannery. So we will watch this go up. And we should already have, so we already have hides coming into the economy now, which will be in the storehouse. And we have the tannery done and I'll pop the latest. No unassigned families to guide the ox, great, so. So anyone else we can take off apart from the We've got no one at the logging camp storehouse I need the granary I need so I will probably drop off on the forager's hut for now uh, because I still want people to transport stuff but this will allow me to get clothing into the economy and we already see a clothing store gone up so the moment this gets some leather from the tannery in it we will start to actually see this come through to the town townsfolk now something to think about here is the extensions these are extremely powerful little options you can pick and i think i'll actually um go with a goat shed and in fact, I'll do two goat sheds. This will give me the benefit of passive hide production, thus reducing my need to constantly have someone in the hunting camp. We see people are already resoundingly happy with my rule, so that's fantastic. The next thing I'm going to start with it's maybe getting a little bit of trade going, so I have a bit of a uh, bit of leeway in what I'm building and what I can also buy up. So I'm going to build a trading post next, and we'll pop it here. And we have one family free now to also build this. So families are generally groups of three people. And this is, yeah, there you go, my total population. 15 from the five families. 10 men, five women. Not the best odds. Bit of a sausage vest in uh, Eichenhau, for sure. But we will now start building the trading post, which is very important to getting going. 
You saw I spent some of my regional wealth there to get the goat income, or the goat production going. So this all costs you money, which is uh, part of your, your regional wealth, and also you can make up your treasury and taxes. So let's get this trading post up and rolling, my friends. It's about to get going here. And that is beautiful. We are built. Now what I want to do is start a trade route where I can actually get some money in. So I will establish a trade route here. And this will give me a regular trade route and I want to export stone when it, it is over, let's say, over 10. And then as a result of that, I'm going to get a stone mining hut going, stone cutter camp rather. And we can see I did have rich stone deposits. So I'm going to build, let's say, it's here. But I want to keep a nice, neat town. So let's go with this and then get kind of this L shape going. So the idea is we will trade stone for more regional wealth. And in turn, I can start to spend my regional wealth on uh, augmenting my economy. You can use it for a whole bunch of things, but I would say boosting your economy is probably one of the better things to be doing. Let's crank up the old speed here as well. What I'm really after is an expansion of the families. I need more families in my town. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to have another plot of land carved out for my town or my expansion. And so I'll keep it real simple and do that. And then just build the road down to keep the, the neatness. This is a very scenic location here right amongst the trees stone cutters camp is almost done so we are building this up beautifully as the rain pitter patters on i can how okay well, the approval rate is going up very nice low 57 percent currently and clothing and market food are kind of contributing to that. Take some stock of what I have coming in and I will take away the hunter and in turn get the log guy back on. Reason being, I'm going to need to look at building this church very soon. And to build a church, we need wood. But we also need to get planks, which is a kind of processed form of wood. So a little bit further down the production chain. So we will just speed things up here whilst hopefully our timber stocks start to rise. And we get these new burge plots in as well. Great stuff. And they are now completed. We have room for new families to join us and just the right time our approval rate is soaring it's a landslide victory if there was going to be an election obviously i'm a dictator here so that's not going to happen there was the trader i think i need to have a look here don't i otherwise i can't friggin trade okay let's put one dude here and we will trade in the next uh, intake because I've, I've bought the regular trade route. And then once we've sold down to the stone limit, we can do the old swap a Rooney and uh, switch him over. But in the meantime, I also do need to get my plank production up and running as well. I believe this is in the industry. No, it's not. Salt it. 
timber into planks. Let's uh, do the old wiggle here. Put that there. I also need to target getting firewood in because my firewood is dropping quite quickly, actually. It's summer, or it's spring rather, and they're burning firewood. Look at this guy, just wasting firewood. Let us know tomorrow. Absolute disgrace. Yes, we need some unassigned families. And I believe... We have 14 leather, so let's just let our hide stock go up. And these guys can then build the... Soul pit, and then actually while I'm at it, get the woodcutter's lodge going as well. Very so plump and juicy, you'll want to eat them by the bushel. Thank you for that, mate. Okay, so we've got a nice little junction going here. Very neat, very tidy. That's my ta town planning skills, of course. I'm not just randomly making this up as I go. Okie doke. So we just earned 10 regional wealth from selling of stone, I believe. Let's check my stone stores. Yes, we did. That is fantastic. Let's keep that going. Because this will allow me to diversify my other elements of my economy. Bakery, tailor, extension. So it enables the production of clothes, cloaks, and gambesons. All right. So that is for the next level up. For now, I want some eggs. So I'm just going to spend a little bit and hope I can recoup it. Get it? Recoup. Recoup it from my sales of stone. Now, we've got the two chicken coops going. The reason I want uh, eggs is it will be another source of food whilst allowing me to kind of have less, one more approval and then less uh, emphasis on my kind of forging activities. And whilst I got the bit of the labor shortage, that's going to be ideal for me. All right. Construction is completing in many things. And that is fantastic. So we got the soul pit, we got the woodcutter's lodge. Generic storage is full. This is a bit of an annoying thing where the soul pit always fills up its log storage straight away and tells you it's full all the time and you can't get rid of it. Now, for someone who's bugged by stuff like this, like me, this can be quite annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know if you guys played like EU4. It's nice when you can get rid of the flags with a right click, but, you know, a minor gripe on my part. It's been raining for probably the whole month. A um, bit depressing, but it is uh, Middle Ages Germany. I'm not expecting all sunshine and rainbows. Now, we've got no building going on, so I will actually get the guy on the stone color camp. For the reason being, um, or the family on the stone color camp, I want to get some gold, more gold in, and then I can spend it on the burrage plots down the road. And continuously augment my, my uh, economy. Let's say we've got our kind of whole wood corner over here. Um, I need to get the saw pit going and I need the logging camp to kind of get some logs going <laughs> and to get some timber into my economy. Now, these guys are manning stools, so if I get rid of them, it's going to reduce this, and that's a little annoying. Now, the clothing stool is not manned because the tannery is not manned. Would have hoped the leather would have been distributed here. But they have the clothing supply still, so sometimes I'm a bit be nice to know precisely 
So he's peddling the goods here. This is not abandoned, it would seem. It's an honor system at the market, clearly. Um, But we have the stone cutters and this stone deposit is huge so we've got a lot of money we can make from this we are getting eggs into the economy now so that is fantastic and our hides are slowly coming in from the birch plots as well a new family has moved in and this is what we wanted we now have more labor in which to boost our economy and I'm not building anything right now, so I'm going to get them on the saw pit. And then if I've got someone else, I'll put them on the woodcutter's lodge. Reason being, the next real goal that I have is to build the church. That's what I need to actually advance and my town to the next level. So we will just watch our resources mount up. And watch the money roll in from the stone trade. I think I just made one gold. Brilliant. Alright, they are transporting nicely though, so this is waiting to be sold. Nine stone. Here he comes. Mr. Trader. Nine gold in my pocket. Beautiful. Things are running smoothly, just as intended, and the planks are sailing into the economy. Very delightful meaning we will soon have our church underway. Almost at 20 planks now. And then I'll switch him over probably to firewood because it's looking a little bit a little bit low on the old uh, firewood front. But the town is running very efficiently as it stands. So I need to slow that down now and I will build the church, which we have met the requirements for. However, where can I actually build this bloody thing is another question. Let's go with there. I'll leave a little bit of a gap because I want to build the road that I've started here. Hmm, that doesn't work. Let's go from here then. Oh, the market's in the sodden way, in it? All right, it suggested a nice path for me. But we need to unassign families for production. Um, got the chicken coops going. Is there anything else that should be useful? Bread, freshly baked, still warm from the oven. Still warm from the oven. You have this coming in, but I'd rather keep that for the gold. Um, I'm not too happy with this road setup I've managed to get myself into. I think, however, I have a free relocation for some buildings, but not all of them. And unfortunately, it's none of these ones, so. Can I move the logging camp? I can. Beautiful. Now, why I did that is because I hated this road. And now this gives me the ability to simply connect that a lot more direct. But I do need a family to build it and they will take care of it now. Looks like it's already done. But I can take this guy off the saw pit now and put him on the woodcutter's lodge. Speeding things up, we see the logging camp will probably be built next. Churches take a little while. Fantastic. Okay, we got plenty of food. Fuel is a tad low, but we have a new family. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. 
just here when things are going to kick off. So we'll have plenty of firewood coming in very soon. And no, none too soon. It's actually giving me a bit of a warning. I'm running low on fuel. And for now, what should I actually do with this guy? Um, maybe I'll just pop them on wood cutting so I can always use more timber in preparation for a future expansion. All right, so I have everything I need to advance the village onward, which is the goal here. We just need this town to, this church to be built. It's pretty slow. So let's uh, give, that, give that a fair chance as they move the materials into place. Fantastic. We can watch this building in real time. I'll sped up at times 12 time, but you get the idea. that is beautiful the gold's also rolling in our stone trade is roaring and now we're actually beginning to erect the church here we go and it's raining again fantastic middle of july rain probably will last another month Beautiful. Okie doke. Look at this fantastic monument to religion. You won't hear me say that very often. But we are going. We got plenty of raw materials too, and we've got more than enough stone for selling. So I'm tempted to. Expand some of these at a later point. Yeah, see, there's some bugs. It does need a bit of polish. I will say that. Um, like some of the pathways are not complete yet. But I want to begin the farming side of things as well. So let's have a quick gander at our... I think it was quite fertile up here, if I remember right. And I want to do barley and wheat for now. So first things I need to do is build a farmhouse. Let's just build it over here maybe. And then it will snap to the road automatically. Whatever, that's fine. 19 gold in, that is phenomenal turn off the overlays and so that's the farmhouse this will send people out onto the fields but now i need a field and it recommends when you you do the tutorials to do one um morgan size field to kick things off so this will be two morgans but i'll take it so this will be where i grow my um, my crops but what I'm thinking can I get real smart here and divide these into two it doesn't look like it I should have built two separate fields in fact why don't I still do that just do different morgans for different sides What am I doing here? I'm doing the wrong type of field. I was doing a pasture. So let's do this. Zero Morgans. 0.7. And that's a 1.5 Morgan field. So we have two fields. But I just killed my wild animals, which is a disaster. Not really, though, because I have the hides coming in from the goats i just didn't pay attention to what i was building there so you got to be careful here but they migrated somewhat inland that is absolutely fine kind of like real very grounded in reality there encroachment of humans upon nature and we lead to migration of animals 
And there it is, a beautiful wooden church, my friends, in all its glory. Fantastic. This will be the center of our town. But you can see here, we have now advanced, which is fantastic. And I can upgrade to level two. The advantage to level two, you generate wealth then of the families, and you can also unlock new extensions to boot. But for the first level, I just need two level two plots, so I'm just gonna upgrade those two there. Cost me a bit of wood, but the economy is running smoothly enough right now. And I'm still selling off that stone, which is fantastic. Now I want to use some of the other um, more advanced plots. But I need two things for my farming. I want wheat and barley. And then I will switch between the two. I want crop rotation. The second year will be wheat, and then the third year fallow, and then the opposite here. Uh, barley, and then fallow. So this allows you to... This allows you to have greater fertility, otherwise your fertility will continuously drop lower and lower as you farm more and more. In order to do all this though, I need the farmhouse built first of all, so this is speed up time. And get this sorted. And I've got to say, this is one of my favorite city builders I've played in quite some time. Uh, if you know the channel, you know I love city builders. I recently made a top 12 list of upcoming city builders that I'm excited about. One is actually dropping today when I'm filming this. This is uh, what's called Infection Free Zone. It's a good game. There are some gripes I have with it. I didn't make a full review video. I just ran out of time with the Man Lords. Um, taking priority this week but uh it was it's very highly wishlisted and a lot of people are anticipating it so if you are looking for something a bit different you can go check out the top 12 city builders video and uh, see if that any of those might be for you but sat atop that list was of course um mana lords and for good reason i think and i'm showcasing that now that mana lords is uh just a very immersive game very atmospheric great sound great music and this ox called thomas how brilliant is that um yeah where was i it's just a solid game i can't really complain about it so far i've done this is my third playthrough so i'm a little bit more uh, acquainted i didn't just want to be kind of completely new coming into the game for you guys so it made a bit more sense but it is, let's put two farmers here. It is a very cool product. Um, and it's one of the most innovative city builders. I know Luke and I are pretty captivated with it right now. Now, in putting two farmers there, I've actually stymied my production of... Or construction, rather. Do these guys construct themselves? It looks like they do. They don't need... I don't know. I think the woodcutter's lodge. We've got five months of fuel. That's sufficient for now. Uh, yeah, this is being built now. So that's what we need. We always need that free family. And I'm very excited because we're about to see our first level two burrage plot. Fantastic. And... Gold is rolling from our stone trade. And soon we will have wheat and barley to boot. What am I going to do with this wheat and barley is another question. Bread would be logical. But not exactly my preferred uh, option here. Hey, there we go. Alright. I can how... What do we need? Now, we went with forest management in the beginning. I'm thinking the heavy plow might be ideal for me from here. 
I'm trying to think what else would be good to work toward, but I'll, I'll go with a heavy fly. This is going to allow me to... Let's go to the hitching post and purchase another ox. Let's put some of these this money to good use. All right, we need more level two verge plots as well. So, all right, I had a small little crash there based upon my side. So I've fired the game back up. I only got just to September, which is uh, not too far ahead in the future. So nothing really much happened. But I need to reacquaint myself here a little bit with where I'm at. We have very good regional wealth and we are well on our way to getting the next plot. Um, so what do I need to actually achieve here? Level up these plots to level two or higher for the next rank in the village. So we will hopefully achieve that very shortly. So let's just crank this up. Let these two. And then what I did select when I actually achieved that was the heavy plow. So I'll just do the same thing again. Plot number two is complete. And there we go. So now I'm pretty much level with where I got to in the other run before I crashed. And I will unlock the plow again. And what I would like to do is add a plowing station and upgrade your farmhouse. So one thing to be mindful of in this game. So Luke did a playthrough and he was like, how the hell do I get clothes, for example? Um, and so you really have to dive into all the buildings and understand where the improvements lie. So, for example, some of the more advanced items of clothing, clothes, cloaks, stuff like that have to be done through upgrades and things along those lines so a herb garden for example here is going to enable you to get herbs into your um, into your economy which I will also do that as well but as it stands right now I am a bit short of labor so I'm gonna have a little gander around I don't really want to get rid of my, my blokes there, but the hunting camp, can we afford to forego any of my labor here? I'll just remove this guy for now. And I just need to account for where I've put everyone. So in the granary, the storehouse, we've got someone in the woodcutter's lodge, which I could probably forego. Yeah, I'll keep it going before winter and then switch it over. But now I have someone to do the upgrades on the buildings, which is fantastic. Get this farmhouse to the next level. Go. Always a bit disconcerting when you come back from a crash and you're trying to figure out where precisely you were, but I think we're back on track now. But I do want to diversify my food a bit, so I'm going to reduce this guy down. Bring him into the forager's hut. Just to keep that rolling. And I'm going to look here. Hiring by hand is not what we want. So we will extend the stable space. Just using up my planks that I have there, but that's fine. And I'm going to upgrade these burrage plots as well for a specific reason. But we want to get up and running to the next level of economy now. A little bit concerned about my food stores. They're getting a little bit low. He always is coming along nicely, and we've just embarked on some more rain. It's probably last a few weeks, it seems. Right, we have.
have our crop rotation in place as well. Also want to keep an eye and get some more timber in the near future because I do want to get my tavern supply going. Or my, my ale supply rather. Needs ale to function. We need to go to the industry tab. And here we are at the malt house. Barley to produce malt, and then boom, boom, boom. just having a look. Once we've produced the malt, do we have I think we have to use the birch plots? Yes, we do. Alright. So that will be my next next little goal here. So Where are we? Let's get the malt house built. And we're already seeing our food stores come back up, I think, as we get some berries into the, the ecosystem. Could really use some extra families now as well. All about getting that approval as high as possible, as quick as possible. Leveling these guys up. Come on, boys. That's what we want to see, some immersive building. And I think soon I'm about ready to take a walkabout around my town, which I'll do now, might as well. Here is the latest level two burrage plot compared to one of these little absolute dumps over here, level one one. Beautiful little itching post here. Plastic, oh no, wait. This is the well. Apologies. That's where, and the hitching post is over here. But it's being converted into a stable, I believe. Fantastic. Nope. That's almost what happened to me before when it crashed, but I managed to go that. And we have our church as well. Quite a beautiful town, I must say. Right, we have burrage pots level two and now i need some planks and then from there i can start ale and maybe some clothing tailor as well so some planks are what's needed at the saw pit i'll let them just upgrade the stable first Perfect, and then I think they've got to do the malt house. Once that's built, I'll just assign the last family. Let's get another ox while we're at it. Okay, the malt house is still not on its way yet. Oh, we're building another over here. The malt house should be next on the agenda. I am gonna get rid of this dude and put him on the salt pit. But we're gonna need someone on lumber as well, otherwise, or timber. Because otherwise we're gonna run out of planks for the conversion. Come on, boys. Let's get this together now. Let's build this bloody malt house. There we go. I'm not selling stuff. I can actually get rid of it. 
now. I'll hold off. We'll switch. So let's pop him in the malt house. This was the trading post guy. And let's put him in the logging camp to make sure we don't run out of timber. No unassigned families to guide the ox. Any redistribution we can look at here. There's the food stores. Not amazing. Alright, we've opened up many of these options now. So I'm just going to have a quick gander at what we have. Did not build the windmill in this this adventure yet. This is the bit I missed when uh, it crashed. So for now, I will get my ale can production going. I'll wait for five more planks and then I'll maybe do next tier of clothes as well. All while in the meantime we're hoping for another family to join our burgeoning village. As we are desperate for labour. This is always the kind of bottleneck in this game and no difference in I can how. Have a sip of this mug. Decaf coffee. Keep me going. A bit overstimulated with caffeine today. Alright, so we've got one ale extension going. Um, and I think the next one I'll do will be... Well, what's the level 3 requirement? Shoes, clothes, or cloaks. So I'll go for... That. Well, we'll play that by ear. Probably the shoes one. Seem to be short a family as well. Is this a bug? Weird. I overextended here. I swear to God, I'm missing people. We've got the storehouse, we've got the hunting camp. This is where one of them is. Granary. All right, we obviously need someone in the farmhouse over the malt house, so let's just do that. How much stone did we actually eat? Taking a fair amount. Next, I would probably start to think of taking over another region and maybe the clay. Oh, there is a bandit camp here. Let's have a quick gander at how they are doing. Is there are many of them present. Yeah. Looks a few, not too many. So I'll think about raising a militia soon, possibly, to take care of these guys. Alright. Firewood, we are good. Planks, how are we doing? Eight planks. So let's get the guy out of the salt pit. And we'll finish our building of our second plot here. Done. This gives me the ability to then... Think about what I want to do with this. We'll go with this one. And I think it should be all right then for our immediate future, though I think we do need levers to make this work. We do have a significant amount of hides from our goat production, thankfully. So it's all about a delicate balancing act right now. For the farmhouse, I'm not quite capable to capitalize on this right now. Good 
do I have a livestock I can give? I think I do it here, or advanced. I assign one livestock. Here, which I should have in my uh, small stable. Two of two, brilliant. Herman, the German ox. He's transporting. And now we should have one bloke up here too. Herman is going to plow. What? Where's the other one gone then? Alright, maybe we've assigned our only ox away. Who knows? Anyway, it should speed up our ability here. Resource stolen by bandits. Was this... Yes, that's annoying as hell. Okie doke. We'll have to take that one on the chin for now, as I haven't raised a militia yet. I mean, the forager hat. What on earth is going on with this? Oh, we'll add a season for that. What a dope. Let's do hunting instead. This will help my production of everything as well. I wondered why that was so slow. Okay. Doki. 78% approval. This is stunningly good. Right now, uh, I must three types of food on the market. We should maintain that with the meat, hopefully. And then we'll see some clothing come in as well in the near future. People, what are they doing there? Looking at building this tavern as soon as possible as well. All right, I think we can also extend the sky, and I will get him out of there. Let's do the building work. And this meets our level 2 requirement, and then I need to build some more houses. New mercenary companies available. Let me investigate this. Alright, I'm gonna... don't have the treasury funds to do this, so I need it up here. Fuel is running a little bit short again. So we will reassign this guy back when, uh, when we get the chance. We are well on our way to getting this plot. Beautiful. Woodcutter's Lodge. Food for nine months. So let's get our supplies back up. Cobbler's Shop. How are we doing here? Workplace. Okay, hopefully they can uh, start producing some goods for me. No shoes as of yet. 
73% approval rate. Fantastic. Okay, let's uh, up this to 12 because I need some influx of... In fact, I'll get this guy off and I'll take him to the tannery because we need some clothes from leather. Really... Just waiting on this next family to join now. Hopefully soon. Beautiful functioning town. It's very much a balancing act right now, though. Where are the bloody people in? Oh wait, I've started I sent them over here to convert them. So the cobbler will use the leather, which is fantastic. That makes a lot more sense now. Clothing stool should have shoes. Brilliant. We now meet the next requirement, and this has seen me sort a new new heights of popularity. Oh, and I immediately plunged down. Next, though, I need to see here is going to be... We need a bit more uh, food, let's say. We've got eggs, we've got berries. Tempted to go with the vegetable garden. All right, we'll do the vegetable garden. We need diversity in our food. Still got this bloody farmhouse going. How long do we harvest? 273 days, bloody hell. Okay, so I'm gonna need a windmill before that occurs. Got the woodcutter. He is you now surplus to requirements, so let's take him off. And from here, hop. You know what? Let's actually construct an army. Only 14 people, that's not good. Can't buy them unless they're in my personal treasury. do from here is we've got the five of five so I'm just going to build three more verge plots so we need a bit of timber in order to do so. Right, it's disbanded the militia no need right now. Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. This is considered to be what, precisely? Not quite sure what that was all about. Ah, this is the brewery, so we need to build a tavern. ASAP. Any good tavern will be extremely poorly located. We go. All right. Next to the well. People can get water after they've had some booze. But I'm going to need to free someone up now because 
this is not what we need. Um, tannery. You're up, mate. I think they've got shoes on the... Yeah, they got seven shoes. They don't need your leather. So let's see how this works. Let's get this tavern going. And then from there, I'm eyeing up building my actual manor. Let's get this built up, people. Come on. I can how need you. Oh my god, they stole six bloody... Alright. I'm taking care of these guys. Very soon. Can't believe they stole so much. So much value. I'm actually outraged. Alright, we have a tavern. This should see people uh, actually get drunk and stuff, which is fantastic. But why do I only have 14 recruits? This is very unfortunate. 14 men. I'm gonna rally over here, boys. Okay, we have 14 men. And I'm gonna go with some sort of stance relatively soon. Alright, here we go. Combat is here. Let's Go take out these in assholes. Saving finished. It's probably a good time. Now, while I wait, let's get the logging going like crazy. We're going to use this to expand when I'm back. Actually, let's do that and. hunting camp as well. Okay, so from my combat and another one went reasonably well, even though I thought I was going to lose. So... I think they just generally get aggro when you get too close. And we'll use this to our advantage. They seem to have a numerical advantage over us, though. Here's my beautiful men. Watch your board. Doke. Here they're coming. Right. We're going to use our standard ground. The idea is they advance. And then when they actually get to us, 
we have much better defense score than them and we will win. But they have a numerical advantage, so let's have a little gander on how this actually goes for me. Could lose, could lose it all here, boys. Let's uh, speed this up. Readjust somewhat. Here we go. Show them how Eichenhauer does it. Come on. That's a mighty clash. I'll be honest, if I lose this, it's over. They do have a numerical advantage of two. Our efficiency, your effectiveness is dropping by the moment. I'm somewhat nervous now. Feel like guys with no shields just being stabbed by guys with spears, like there. Oh, he does have a shield. I'll take it back. Oh my god, they lost someone. This is brilliant. There he is. He's down. They lost two people. Okay. It might not be so bad. A third is down. We're yet to use a map. Numerical advantage. Okay. They're beginning to falter, it looks like. Still high in their effectiveness, but apparently they're useless. Come on, boys. Here we go. Four people up. We should win. And, oh my god, five people up. Six. Alright, this is a total route. They're about to actually break, I think. Hey, hey. I'm going to run through our town, which doesn't really make much sense. But let's take this camp. Fantastic, boys. A new message. New objectives. All right. Send resources to nearest town. Oh, look at that regional wealth. All right. Very, very excited with this. We have been gathering timber the entire time as well. This is brilliant. We can remove the guy, the logging camp, and build ourselves a windmill. Actually, I'll, I'll go to Bridgepot next. Let me just do the old windmill. Where are we farming? Okay. I think this was a good spot. And then two bur three Burridge plots to see our town expand. Let's go with here. Okay, let's take that back. That's a dumb place to build. Let's build. Not enough goods. Bollocks. All right, let's start with two. Bugger it. Hunting guy, you're out. Reasonably okay on food. Logging. You become a logging guy. Is the place actually serving booze? Doesn't look like it yet. 
but soon. Just need him to chop one more log, and we can get on with building. And here I am back on my side. You may have noticed the time has changed somewhat here in uh, Denmark, but I am uh, had to break off and do some work. But I am here to kind of wrap this video up and give you my kind of concluding thoughts on Manor Lords so far in its early access. It is extremely entertaining game. Um, it's one of the better city builders I've played. The level of detail, immersion, and just vibe and feel is exemplary, I've got to say. What I would love to see is a continuation of that high level that they've they've delivered um, into a fully fledged game, not just the early access. So there's a lot of features that we go through the development, the policy, the production, which are all kind of locked out right now and, and need to be fully f kind of fleshed out, let's say. I also think one of the things that need to be um, given some a lot of detail and attention is the scenarios and maps and different situations, maybe a campaign as well, to really engage the player base with different difficulties, different challenges and the like. Um, so that's my kind of overall take on Mana Lords. Uh, if you guys like this video, this is somewhat different content. Me and Luke don't really do Let's Play content, but we wanted to showcase two types um, of gameplay to you. A long form and also kind of a short snappy form, which we, we kind of specialize in here at LT Gaming. If you've liked this one, though, let me know. We can always continue this playthrough and see how the town of Eichenhau uh, pans out. I will no doubt will continue it regardless of... Um, of uh, this video or not um and uh yeah just let us know your thoughts and let us know what your impressions are of mana lords if you want more content on it you want me to continue this playthrough we can absolutely do so and uh get you guys really amped up for the full release towards the end of the month all right guys that was me uh for lt gaming i really hope you've enjoyed this video Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.